today we're going to cover uh, checking out the latest trunk revision of the FOG project and we're going to be using the 7 method. This tutorial is not meant to be like really super in-depth. We're just going to quickly run through exactly what you need to do and uh, where I would recommend putting things because you'll see some local folder in here and that confuses a lot of people and there's there's some common mistakes made and I'm going to uh, cover those they're pretty basic uh, you'll follow along pretty easy we're using Fedora 23 but I will provide the uh, relevant commands for Ubuntu and CentOS 7 Debian and uh, those others here in this notepad window the first thing we need to do is install 7. So this is easy. In Fedora 23 it's DNF install 7 minus Y to just go ahead and do it. And for CentOS 7 it'll be uh, yum instead of DNF. Yum install 7 minus Y. For uh, Ubuntu it'll be apt dash git install 7 minus y okay so 7 is installed now this some local folder I would really recommend against uh, specifying a destination directory like this instead I say make your destination directory then go into that directory and then just run this command and and this will happen in the directory that you're in so I would recommend putting all of your source code for the latest fog trunk version into the root directory under a folder called 7 so where are we where are we going how do we do all that PWD is present working directory right now we're in root we're gonna make a directory called 7 right now it doesn't exist ls is list so we're gonna make a directory mkdir7 and now you see that it exists we're gonna go into there with cd change directory so cd7 now we're inside of the 7 directory pwd shows us we're inside of the 7 directory now we can check out our source code this command here will check out the very latest version and that's what we want at the moment. To paste in putty you would right click. We'll go ahead and we'll run that. Okay, we've happened to have checked out revision 4988 and that's the 7 version not the fog revision number uh, these these two things they don't match and it's fine people ask about that it's it's just fine um so now if we do a ls we'll see that there's a new folder in here called trunk we'll go into there cd trunk now let's do an ls to see what's in there we have some other things and uh, this bin directory this is where you want to go this is where the main installa installer is. So we'll go into there with the uh, cd command, cd bin. Do a ls to see what's in here. There's your installer. Now to run this installer, you need to be either uh, using super user do or you need to be root. Right now I'm root, but if you are using uh, Ubuntu, you would need to do a uh, sudo. So as root I can just quite simply type in period forward slash install fog dot sh and hit enter and the installer would start. If I was using Ubuntu or Debian it would be sudo install fog dot sh well with the period forward slash sudo install fog.sh or if you wanted more power or had problems with that you could do a uh, sudo su and then you would provide your password 
and then you would be permanently inside of super user and then you could just quite simply run the installer like that that would work as well and that's all there is to it it's pretty basic and then you're on your way to installing fog